everything out of that box is now down here. So I'm going to try, one-handed enough, <laughs> gammy as it is, to try and uh, assemble this thing as you will. Um, these are simple pressed steel plates. There is a bit of a lip on these, so that lip is going to be going to the outside of the tool. So I don't want it gamming up this or even these. So where they've been pressed through, the uh, the top face, as it were, focus you. Thank you. The uh, top face here, where it's been pressed down through, is going to be going on the inside of everything. Now I know that leaves these edges open to your fingers, but for the sake of a file in five minutes, it's not going to be a stress. I'm not going to bother doing that right now. I want to put it together and see how she goes. So for the minute, they're going to go together that way. Most people wouldn't think of it being an issue. I uh, just, it's just a personal thing. So, as you can see, we've got all the hardware laid out. Um, and we've got the RAM here. I suppose we best check the function of the RAM, really. Let's do that, shall we? Right, so. What have we got here? Oop, there we go, that's a bit better. So, as far as the RAM is concerned, it is a very simple hydraulic piston. Oh, good, it was. And it's got a little stop on here, so you can't unwind it all the way. There is a roll pin in both of these components, which uh, well, it won't ever go up to it unless you're knackering it completely this direction. But turning it off, it'll only go so far, so you can't unwind it all the way and screw your hydraulics quite literally <laughs> or unscrew them, as it were. So, very simple. Uh, it's got to be the other way up. Oh, sweet, it rotates. <laughs> Nice. Handle goes in there. Where are we? Make sure the valve is shut and then give her a little pumpy pumpy. Oh my goodness, a bit awkwardly. There we go. This is not easy doing this one handed. I'll do it right handed. Look, I'm not very good in my left hand. I hold that there and pump. And we should have. There we go. Nice. So it'll take a little while, with 15 tonne of pressure, you should easily push those stuck half shafts out of those hubs. And believe me, I beat the 5 Series ones I had, E39 5 Series one, to absolute mercy um, before trying to get it out. Uh, I had pullers and presses and all kinds of things on there and the damn thing just wouldn't move. So this is the reason why I invested in this 40 quid tool. Let's see how well she retracts off is that way. Oh, very nice. Very slick. I'm liking that. As you can see, there's your piston there. That threaded section there is for... Oh, where are we? So this little doolap. That's going to come in very handy. Focus you, thank you. Cheers for that, Eve. Um, yeah. So, yeah. This little thing screws in the end. Um... Much like, it's hard to do when you're looking through a camera. Much like that, evidently. And then, uh, hold still, obviously. That centers it, and it's got two flats so you can get it off again after you've rammed it in place with the 15 ton of force. So yeah, that's the hydraulic cylinder side of things. Happy days, let's just release that because we don't want to keep hydraulics pressurised. There we go, little do lap disappearing. And for the moment, I'm going to take that out of there because I only have one hand and two feet to work with. So, let's assemble the rest of it, shall we? Um, it's pretty simple. Obviously, I'm going to use three jaws on this, so it's going to be one either side, like such of these. I'm not going to use this one for the minute. I'm going to use these two and this one because that gives us the three jaw puller that I'm after. And then evidently these will fit in that way or that way depending on which way you want to screw that one in. But they're going to go in this way for me today. And then you'll have your hardware going through obviously and bolting it in place. So um, don't want these to be too tight when you do them up. Obviously don't want them to come undone particularly either. I don't want them too tight because it can restrict the movement of the piece and make it awkward to position. So I'll get that assembled now and then I'll show you what that looks like. <laughs> 